Welcome to GPI informational videos. Today we're talking about how to calibrate a meter. As you can see, we've got tons of different meters, but the displays on all of them all look pretty much alike. You can kind of tell because they all have two buttons, a display and a calibrate button. You can see different colors or remote displays or displays with 4 to 20s, uh, displays on top of meters, displays on the front or displays with 4 to 20s out the back, but they all have the same display on the meter. Now today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this meter and see how to calibrate it. First of all, when you're calibrating a meter you got to get it turned on. Push the display button and the display comes on. Now the uh, calibration comes with gallons preset, which I don't know if you can see or not. A gallons preset, which means it's calibrated at the factory to the viscosity of water. That's what preset means. It's preset here at the factory. Now we have other calibrations that will come along on here. There's uh, Some of them will have all of these, other ones won't. This one happens to have liters also. Almost all of them will have liters. If you hold down the calibrate button, push and rele release the display button, it switched to liters preset. Do it again, hold down calibrate, push and release display, and it goes to Cal B. You notice now where it says Cal B, the words preset is gone, which means this is not a factory preset, which this is something you can change. That's what we're going to talk about today, how to change this calibration. Now, first of all, why would you want to change a the calibration? These come calibrated to water. Let's say you were running something a little bit thicker through it, like uh, antifreeze. So you're putting antifreeze through this meter. It's a little bit thicker. It's going to make the turbine inside turn a little bit slower. So this meter, which has the K-factor printed right on it, which this one happens to be 2,609 pulses per gallon. Well, that is for water. If you're putting the antifreeze through it, which is a little bit thicker, it wouldn't be that many pulses. So what we do in a field calibration is show this display exactly what five gallons looks like. Now I'm using five gallons as an example, but you could use any amount that you want, 10, 15, 6.29, whatever it takes. A lot of people will do it with weight, so they'll know exactly how much their fluid weighs, and then they'll, uh, they'll just fill up a container, they'll measure the weight, and then figure out exactly how much they put through the meter, and then enter that into the display. And that's why I say it can be any amount, you know, 6.57, whatever it takes to put it in there right. So I'm going to go through this again. We hit display, comes on. At this point, you're going to want to go into a calibration mode, which you'll hold down both buttons for about, oh, four or five seconds. Just keep holding them until it says something. Get that going. Sometimes you get, there we go, DD Cal meaning dispense display. Now I let go and it says run one. At this point, this is when you actually run your first sample. So I'm going to go ahead and blow through this meter. Uh, makes it uh, act like it's got some fluid going through there, which is going to be basically like you had some fluid going through it. Hang on. And you can see right down in the corner, that little turbine showed up down there. That meant it had some fluid going through it. Now, we're going to pretend at this point that I filled up a five-gallon bucket. And, of course, it would take a little bit longer than that, but we're going to say I did that. So I filled up the five-gallon bucket, so I go ahead and hit the display button, and now it's saying, okay, how much did you put in there? Right now, the uh, furthest left zero is blinking, so this is the one that I can change. Well, I only put in five gallons in this example, so I want to leave that as a zero. So I hit display, it'll go to the next zero. Again, I want that to be a zero, so I'm going to hit display again. And display one more time. Get over to where I can put the five. Hit calibrate five times. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got 5.00. Now let's say I messed up and accidentally hit six. Well, you can go ahead and go all the way up to the zero again. And one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So i got 5.00. Go ahead and hold down both buttons. Now it's saying run to. Now what does that mean? I can do another sample. 
but uh, why would I want to do another sample? This particular meter is a little half inch. One reads between one and ten gallons per minute. I could do a run at like one gallon per minute, another run at two gallons per minute, another one at three gallons per minute, and go on up and I can do up to 15 different runs. Now I don't want to do the runs at the same flow rate because it's a waste of time. The whole point is along the entire curve of a meter you're going to have different K factors for different flow rates. Now all the K factors are going to be almost identical but just a little bit different. But if you do several runs at different rates of flow the, the display is smart enough to know okay I'm going this rate of flow I'm going to use this K factor. You speed it up okay I'm going this rate of flow I'm going to use that K factor and it gives you a little bit better accuracy. But then again most people are going to have a pump that goes the same speed so one calibration is plenty because it's always going to be at that one rate. So in this case I'm not going to do another run I'm just going to go ahead and hold down both buttons I'm not going to let go until it says cal end. Once that's done I'm done. So now cal this has got a new calibration in it and as long as I leave it on that calibration it will read at that new calibration. So it's a good idea to test that so we can empty out the bucket fill it back up again and see if it did give you five gallons on there. Now keep in mind again to switch back and forth hold down calibrate now we're going to go back to our gallons preset so you're back to the factory calibration water we did not change that you could press buttons all day long to change that and nothing's going to change again we're going to leaders there doing it again push display again cal b and then we also have the cal c which is actually the one i did the calibration on so if any time we're going to do glycol or antifreeze in this particular meter we'd be on calibration c and it should read just fine and that's about it on calibrations and pretty simple if you ever have trouble with that don't hesitate to give us a call at the factory thanks a lot